Hey again, y'all. So today on the Metagrid, we're going to be unboxing some goodies that I received yesterday. Uh, the first is my um, Victron Smart Solar Charge Controller. It's the MPPT 250 100. So it can handle up to 250 volts input from panels or what have you and can output 100 amps maximum. Uh, the TR here denotes that it has terminals as opposed to MC4 connectors. And uh, VE.CAN, apparently it's got a couple of RJ45 ports on it and it'll allow you to connect it to other VE.CAN Victron charge controllers so that you can have multiple charge controllers and they will all um, cooperate in charging. So for instance, if one of them senses it's time to go to float uh, phase, then it will send a signal to tell all the controllers to go to float phase at the same time. And apparently you just daisy chain it. There's two RJ45, I believe, jacks on here. So you go from one of those to one of the RJ45s on another unit, and then from the second RJ45 on that unit to the third, etc. on down the line, daisy chain style. So we'll, we'll unbox this today and uh, just see what's inside and then I'll have um, future videos up that'll uh, detail installation and operation. So yeah, let's do it. <clears throat> okay, got the handy dandy Victron brochure with all the different lines of product that they carry. It's in every uh, Victron product that I get. Here's the nice manual. And there it is, the unit right there. little guy. I guess it'd have to be to handle 100 amps, 250 volts. Wrapped very well with Mr. Crinkly. So there we have it. There's the front panel. <clears throat> You can uh, install uh, a display there that'll show you various details about the charging and whatnot. So um, we have our terminals here, battery connection plus and, and minus and photovoltaic input there, minus and plus. <clears throat> Some uh, indicator lights, bulk absorption and float mode. And then here on the end we have our uh, rotary dial to allow you to set the charging parameters manually without having a Bluetooth connection. Uh, VE Direct port, which I will definitely utilize. I'm going to plug it into a <clears throat> excuse me, Raspberry Pi to do all the controlling and monitoring of my Victron products. <clears throat> Here's the uh, end of the terminals here. Here's the RJ45 VE.CAN ports. We've got a, a relay connection and then the remote switch, which I'm interested in uh, experimenting with. So um, I'll explain that in a future video. Right now the H and the L pins are bridged with a little jumper wire and that uh, turns the unit on. If you take that jumper wire out, it would turn it off. So basically if you just uh, connect a dry contact relay for instance, you can switch that on and off with the uh, dry contact relay. Apparently you can provide uh, battery positive voltage to I believe the H terminal to turn it on and off as well. So I'm going to get some more guidance on that, peruse the manual carefully and uh, perhaps experiment with that. If you could just switch 
battery voltage to the H terminal to turn it on and off, then that would eliminate a, another complexity in the guise of a relay that would be needed to turn this off. But I do have a relay as well, so I can utilize that to uh, turn the unit on and off. I'd probably have it controlled by the uh, BMS system. So, for instance, if, the, if there's any charging issues, it could turn off the charging just by switching that on and off. There's a ground terminal here, chassis ground. And a warning, a warning label there. So yeah, that's it. That is it. Looking forward to installing this and getting it running. I need some more parts for my battery to get it fully hooked up and then we'll get these powered up and show you how that goes. So that's it. Dark Star on the Mad Red signing off another time.